Hey everybody, what's going on? It's uh, Zuby here, Kalen. You know me on that level. Uh, and I'm here today because I have to talk about something. And it's something that, I don't know, I guess it's been bothering me for quite a while. And I figured I might as well just talk about it. And I don't normally get angry about a lot of things. There's one thing that the community, I feel like as a whole, knows about me. It's that I'm relatively calm and I don't get upset and I don't take offense to things. I don't feel angered by things. I kind of just let everything roll on an even keel. But there's one thing that has really been uh, annoying me lately and I'm gonna talk about that today. Um, and that is the lack of respect that is going on in the Halo community for all its other members. And I say that, hopefully not to start anything, but honestly, it's fucking pissing me off, guys. And I don't know if you guys have noticed it, but I'm just going to go off on it today because it's fucking pissed me the hell off. So one of the things that we know about the Halo community, and yes, you know, it's not dead. The Halo community is not dead. But it is so much smaller than it used to be. It is unbelievably small. It's unreal how small the community has gotten in the last few years. And I'm not placing blame on the games or anything, even though I easily could. But we have a small community now. And that's not going to change unless we stand up as a community and support everybody. And that's where things are getting shady. There's so much shit going on with all the different types of content creators out there as well as this whole new team thing that was brought over from the COD Battlefield universe that it just pisses the fuck out of me to see some shady shit going down behind the scene. And I'm not going to get into who's involved in the shady shit. I'm not going to get involved in naming names, at least not at the moment. Um, but there is really some shady shit going on and it honestly needs to stop and I hope this message gets out to the people who need to hear it because it needs to fucking stop now I have been talking to a lot of people and getting a lot of stories about how certain team leaders are going behind people's backs and cutting people out of deals in order to better themselves and put themselves in a better position to get more people to follow them and like them and subscribe them and to get themselves in a position of power and that's just so disrespectful it really is. There is a lot of good people out there making a lot of good content and to step on the little guys, or not even the little guys, some of the people getting stepped on are actually well-respected people in the community. And these unknowns are stepping on them to push themselves higher. And to me, that's just fucking frustrating. Uh, I Yeah, I'm trying not to name names here. There's definitely some names I could drop, but I'm not going to. Uh, so that's part of what is frustrating me is we need to make sure that our community members know that we can continue as a community as long as we stick together. And I'm not saying you have to you know, like every video that someone makes or always say something positive about all the Halo videos. Constructive criticism is good and feedback is always good as well. And if a video is not great, you know, maybe the creator needs to know so that way they can create a better video in the future. I get that. But as content creators become more business like, we need to remember that we're not a business. Sure, some people make a living off this, but we really are not a business. It's more or less we're doing this for fun. There are certain people who will escalate it to that point, but we need to remember that all this is for fun, and even the people who are making a living off of this are doing it for fun. And the bridges you burn will come back and haunt you. I can guarantee that. I can absolutely guarantee that. There are some people in this community I know right now I will never make a video with, ever, based on the things I've either heard them do, I've seen them do. I just, I never will. It won't happen. And that's a sad place to be, because I... I've always been open to making videos with anybody who wants to make a video. Anybody who wants to make a video. I've always been open to it. But at this point, I'm only selecting people who I know and trust to make videos with. 
And to me, that's sad because the community a long time ago was great. You could throw together highlights like not more than five years ago with just about anybody, and it'd be a fun time and a great video to watch. And the community's not at that point anymore because everyone is so set on bettering themselves rather than just making content that pleases people who like to watch them. And if you look at all the YouTube comments of people who comment on all these Halo videos, a lot of them don't make their own videos, and they love to watch the content. So you're not doing anything by segregating yourself away from people and only working with people who have your similar selfish interests in mind. You're really hurting the people who want to watch your videos and who want to do great. And it sucks because a lot of these people don't see behind the scenes that the other people who are getting stomped on in order to make this video happen. I know this probably doesn't make a whole lot of sense, um, I'm sure a lot of people will get exactly what I'm saying, especially people who make videos and are aware of what's going on in the community. I'm sure they'll get what I'm saying, but for the most part, it's it's just sad to see where our community is at. And I wish that all this backstabbing and all this nonsense would just stop. And I hope the people who watch this video understand who they are and what they need to stop, because I don't want to make another video like this. I like making the vlogs, I'll probably continue to make these kind of talking commentary vloggy type videos because I think they're fun and it's a different way to get out different content, but it's, I don't know, I just, I hope they get the message because I don't want to have to go more in depth about this, but that's something that really needs to stop, it really is. The other thing that needs to stop, in my opinion, is the distinct separation of community members that exist between social montagers and competitive montagers. Don't get me wrong, that has always been there. That sort of separation between social and competitive players has always been there. And it likely will always be there. But it seems that with the amount of, I guess, anger that's on YouTube and in all the different video gaming communities these days, it has really upped its ante, and it's nuts. And as someone who currently plays social gameplay, who used to play competitive, it'd be easy for me to say, oh, the competitive player just shits on the, the social player. You know, everything's not leet, blah, 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 blah. And it'd be very easy for me to say that. It really would, because it is very true. I can't tell you how many times I'm streaming and People literally come in just to shit talk the fact that I'm playing noobs in social and then leave. And then call me a bunch of shitty words and then leave. So I'm used to that. And I can easily say that. But it flip flops to the opposite side as well. There's been a few montages by high level pros released recently that, yes, according to my and a lot of the social montager standards, had some social in it that was not up to par. That's fair. I agree it's not up to par. But that doesn't mean we have to say the entire montage is bad. I know a lot of people have been shit-talking pros montages for including that kind of stuff, but you gotta remember that that video is for a different audience. It's for people who appreciate the fact that it's just on high-level players. And we just gotta understand that there is this two different type of community viewing going on. There's a social community viewing and a competitive community viewing. And I don't honestly think it'll sway to the fact that you, every viewer will be able to look at both individually. But I guess the hate for it needs to stop, is what I'm truly trying to say. The hate for these different styles of montaging just need to stop. Because we are a small community, and the more we separate, and the more we decide to drift apart from each other, the smaller our community gets. Rather than it becoming the Halo community, it becomes the Halo montage community and the Halo competitive community. And we should all just be one with people who shine in both areas and grow themselves exponentially in both areas. I, I don't know. I just... Seeing these two different aspects just drive me crazy because our community is already small as it is. And I don't want to see it get any smaller. I don't know about you guys. But I have a feeling that, you know, with just some slight tweaks in how the community acts, we could really make a difference. And that, to me, is one of the most important things. Uh, if you guys like this idea of me just kind of talking over gameplay and stuff, let me know. Um, 
because I am absolutely willing to make more of these. I know I've already got one or two more of these I'm going to make in the works. Uh, but I can continue this series if you want. And I'll even open it up to leaving suggestions in the comments about the type of things I should talk about next. And if this continues to uh, go on and people like to watch it and that kind of stuff, maybe I'll make it a weekly series. I think it'd be fun. You know, try something new, something different. Um, yeah, so anyway, this is uh, Zuby, Kalen here, talking to you about some things that bothered me. And we'll see what happens with those things and if I need to go in more detail. Uh, yeah, all right, so um, this should be my second upload today. Uh, I'll see you guys later. Hopefully... Uh, you catch me streaming, I'll be streaming hopefully a lot this week. But yeah, I will see you guys later. Have a good day. Test Extermination.